Hey, what's up guys? So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how to set up a Xbox One Elite controller to map on your PC so you can change the paddle functions. So, got our Xbox One Elite here. I use the Series 2, but the Series 1 works all the same. The first thing you need to do is open up your Xbox Accessories app. Connect an Xbox One controller to get started. So I recommend using the wireless Windows adapter. You can use Bluetooth, it's not as reliable, has a lot more input lag. So once you get this up, um, you see how my paddles are unmapped. So that's the key part here. So if we go to configure. So now we can come up here. Um, so all your profiles need to be unmapped. So you see I've got my ADRP, copy of ADRP, copy of ADRP2. So, um, but you can create new profile. You know, we'll say uh, unmap, we'll call this one. So here's by default, we've got B, Y, X, and A. So if we go to B, uh, we want to unmap it. Shift, unmapped. Um, shift is a series two function. So uh, the elite series one, you're only gonna have your primary function. We'll say, okay, go to the second one, unmapped, unmapped. The third one, unmapped, unmapped. The fourth one, unmapped. Oh, shift, unmapped. So now we got all the paddles unmapped. Um, once you do that, you're going to save your profile. Then you're going to apply it. Um, like I said, you got the series one, you'll have two slots. Series two, you'll have three slots. So you need to make three separate profiles with those paddles unmapped. Um, save those into your controller. Um, once those are saved as your active profiles, you can exit your accessories app. You're going to open up re w a s d. That's the program I use. Open that up on the bottom left. You'll see all your devices. So here's my Xbox elite two. Um, obviously I've already got my profile set up, but on the top, right, you will click add, um, add whatever whatever game title you're adding. We'll do my uh, ADRP one, that's my GTA Roleplay server profile. So um, over here on the right hand side is where you see your gamepad front buttons, gamepad back buttons. We're gonna go to the back buttons. Uh, this is where you set your buttons. So my in game push to talk is the N key on the keyboard. So we'll click that. Go to your mapping here, has all your different options. I'm going to set that as my N key. Um, the left trigger, this is actually caps lock. That's just the, uh, the icon they use for caps lock. That's what I have set as my discord chat. Uh, right here I have my Z button. That's what I use my cruise control. Um, this one is unmapped right now. But, you know, you set your four, four functions to whatever you want them set to. Um, on the bottom here it shows different configs. But, um, the other two are empty. I just have, I just have one active. So, um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, this re WASD, you have all kinds of different options of, uh, macros and key functions and stuff. You can set it to you can change your rumble turbo, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can play around with that and set it how you want it. Top left. Once you get it set, you're going to click apply. That's going to apply your setting. Uh, by default, this app should be open in the background, but you just want to make sure it's open. Um, anytime you're using your controller and all those functions should work. Um, and then on your controller, you got to have one active. You don't want the default one. So like on the series two, we got profile one, profile two, profile three, and then the default one. If it's on the default one, it's not going to work. So you want it on one of your profiles that's going to have the unmapped paddles or else you're going to get um, duplicate key presses when you press the paddles.
So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you enjoyed the video, uh, subscribe on the page. Find me at twitch.com slash theweekendgamer727. That's where I stream from. You can also find me on facebook.com slash theweekendgamer727. Thanks for stopping by. I hope it helped you out.